welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Besides their tiny size, the Chihuahua's most distinctive feature is probably their head shape, which can range from deer head to apple head, along with other head shapes in between and beyond. So let's talk about a Chihuahua's head shape. Before I dive into the subject, I want to point out that there are two perspectives. On the one hand, you have breeding clubs who follow decades-old specific feature standards for each breed. And on the other hand, you have layman's terms, which are used more by the general public. Today I'm going to address both. Likely you've all heard the term applehead. The American Kennel Club describes the Chihuahua breed standard as an applehead, which is a well-rounded apple dome skull with or without a malaria. The malaria is a soft spot on the top of their head. Their muzzle, or their nose, should be moderately short, slightly pointed, and should form a near 90 degree angle where it joins the skull. Each kennel club has slight variations for breed standards, but almost all clubs recognize only the apple head skull shape for Chihuahua standards. The only kennel club that includes the deer head as a Chihuahua standard is the Continental Kennel Club. In this video, I'll refer to the American Kennel Club since I'm in the U.S. and it's the club I'm the most familiar with. Other countries have similar clubs, such as the Canadian Kennel Club, which lists nearly identical head shape and features for Chihuahuas. So as far as these club standards go, the apple head is the only head shape a Chihuahua should have. So you might be wondering, what about a deer head? Deer head Chihuahuas have a longer jawline than apple heads, and their muzzle is sloped more like a greyhound, without the 90 degree angle. Generally, deer heads have longer bodies and legs and are likely to be larger than apple heads. The famous Gidget from the popular Yo Quiero Taco Bell commercials is an excellent example of a deer head. But because deer heads are not recognized by AKC as an official variety, they are disqualified from participating in confirmation dog shows. Now last time I did a video on apple head versus deer head, I got a lot of comments from people who seemed really angry at AKC for disqualifying the true breed. However, I do think that's a misunderstanding. Deer heads are not the true Chihuahua breed. The first breed standard from AKC for the Chihuahua breed was stated almost 100 years ago in 1923. And from the very beginning, the standard head shape was the apple head. I think the general public has become more familiar with the look of a deer head Chihuahua simply because there are so many deer heads and they are just as beloved by their owners as any Chihuahua, regardless of head shape. If you were to ask a kennel club member, they would likely tell you a deer head was actually a mixed breed. And who knows, they might be right. But hang on, before all you deer head lovers start hating on me, please keep listening. Just because AKC has a special club with a secret handshake and membership dues that only certain dogs are invited to, doesn't give them final say over the entire breeding world. And now it's time for the kennel club members to hate me, but I'm just gonna say it. I'm sure there are plenty of AKC registered so-called purebred Appleheads that would have DNA tests reveal them to be mixed breeds as well. Years ago, I became disillusioned with AKC when I realized their pedigree was only as honest as their breeders. And many breeders aren't honest. Many breeders. I've been in the breeding world for long enough to see breeders do all sorts of tricky tricks with their AKC paperwork. I think AKC tries to stay on top of it to ensure the integrity of their breeders, but there's still plenty of unethical AKC dog breeders out there who just lie about parentage. So keep in mind, if you're some sort of a purebred snob, just because you're adopting an AKC dog does not mean you're guaranteed a purebred or otherwise perfect dog. And by the way, even if you do get a purebred dog, it still doesn't equal a perfect dog. Purebreds can have health problems as well. So AKC would likely label deer heads as a mixed breed, but let's establish right here and now that I don't really care, and you shouldn't either. We have choices, people. Some people like long coats, some like smooth coats, some like apple heads, some deer heads, some like darker colors, and some like lighter colors. That's the wonderful thing about Chihuahuas, there are so many varieties. I know there are tons of deer head lovers out there and I feel your pain. A deer head, an apple head, a pear head. Yes, I said pear head. Who gives a crap? Each and every one is precious. They are all sweetie pies. So since anything other than apple head is not a club recognized Chihuahua head shape, I do consider deer head a layman's term. But we know they exist. How else would we describe Gidget from the Yokiero Taco Bell commercial? She was a deer head Chihuahua. I mean, I guess you could call her a tiny fawn colored greyhound, but that's just weird. So what about the layman's term pear head? A pear head Chihuahua is basically an apple head, but just with a longer nose. Think of it as a Chihuahua having an apple head dome, but with a longer nose of a deer head. 
And then there's the other extreme, a baby doll face. Mark, you a baby doll face? A baby doll face is an apple head, but with an extremely short nose. These are my favorite. AKC, please don't hate on me for preferring a look that is not the breed standard. I wouldn't want to put my sweetie pies in your beauty pageant anyways. Right, Margo? You're too good for that. Yes. I mean, how can you resist that little face? I just want to stare at it all day long. The bottom line is this. Who cares if it's a deer head or an apple head, a pear head or a baby doll? You're going to love your sweetie pie no matter what. Heck, a sweetie pie doesn't even have to be a chihuahua. It could be a Yorkie or a Shih Tzu or a Mutt or a purple headed dragon. I don't really care what your sweetie pie looks like. What I do care is that they're happy and they're healthy and that they're treated right by their humans. We should consider ourselves so lucky to be able to share our life with these tiny little canines. They truly make the best companions, even better than human companions. And we are the lucky ones who get to enjoy them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and thank you all for your support. From your likes and your comments to your financial support with buy me a coffee and purchasing the best nail grinder out there. The Lucky Tail Nail Grinder. Links are in the description below. Love you guys so much and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye bye. Say bye Margo. Say bye. Margo's definitely a baby doll face.